Hello, my name is David Sobosinski and I'm the Executive Director of New Hope Health Center. In 2007, a handful of people from South King County came together with a desire to establish a faith-based medical clinic for the uninsured. New Hope Health Center is the result. As an all-volunteer, privately funded 501c3 organization, we are committed to providing primary health care to those who don't have it. Our mission is to be an expression of the Christian community in providing primary health care to the medically underserved of South King County in a manner which proclaims the love of Jesus Christ. At New Hope, we see people from all walks of life, from people who have been in this country for less than six months to those who have lived down the street all their lives. My name is Gail Kostelecki and I come to New Hope for my health care. I was fortunate enough to run into someone at the library who was telling people about a free clinic and how they felt that everyone should know about it so that everyone could have the availability of health care and we had just lost all of our health care and it was a godsend. Uh, my husband was just diagnosed with diabetes and thank God for New Hope or I think I seriously would have lost him. New Hope was not only a godsend for me, I know it's been a godsend for other people as well because I've heard these same stories and the people here are so I'm going to get emotional here. They're fabulous people. They are so wonderful and so caring and compassionate and giving that you don't feel like you're one of the outcasts of society, that you're a viable person. And that means everything in the world because it changes your attitude as well towards other people. I find myself more open with other people and in regards to telling them about New Hope, I can't sing the praises of these people enough because they are the best thing that we have ever had come into our lives. 70% of our patients live below the federal poverty level. Since our opening in 2010, approximately 700 individuals have visited New Hope over 3,000 times and the majority of these people consider New Hope to be their medical home. And they're not just coming from South King County, but as far away as Everett, Graham, and Puyallup. In fact, New Hope has seen patients from 44 zip codes and over 27 distinct ethnic communities. We have over 70 volunteers representing 24 congregations from around King County. They tirelessly give of their time and talents in treating each of our patients with respect, dignity, and compassion. I'm Dr. Bob Thompson. I'm the medical director here at New Hope Health Center. The patients we see, not unlike in a regular practice, are mostly here by word of mouth. They've heard of us through friends or family. So they come first on a Saturday morning. Uh, they are greeted by some of our volunteers. Uh, we ask them a couple of simple questions. Uh, are you here for medical care? Uh, do you have any health insurance? Uh, and if the answers are yes and no, well, then they get registered. We have volunteer staff who then sit down with the patient and go through a simple registration process which also includes getting uh, medical history, and then um, ask questions about what they currently are needing and what they're looking for uh, from the physicians that are working here. So the staff uh, will then um, have them stop and talk with our triage nurse. The triage nurse tries to determine whether they have an urgent medical need that we would want to work them into our clinic that day, uh, a bit more about their past medical history to understand you know, what their circumstances are, and then a decision as to whether to schedule them for an appointment uh, in the future or, again, to have them come in right away and get seen by one of our physicians uh, that, are, that are in the office that day. The patients that are seen um, or have an appointment to be seen for that day will then come by uh, one of our volunteers. Uh, they'll be uh, taken up to our waiting room for the clinic. In the waiting room, uh, they meet Pat, who has uh, a real uh, great heart for being a hostess and she makes them all feel at ease. Uh, she shares uh, food with them. We have, uh, we have some snacks and some uh, water for them. Uh, there's also literature for them if they're interested. And then from the waiting room, uh, the patients are called one at a time according to the schedule of that day. We have a nurse who will then um, get the patient uh, ready for her or his exam, which includes a more detailed physical history, getting their medications uh, lined up and listed accordingly. Uh, and also then checking their vital signs and setting up the patient to be seen by the physician. 
patients are in our uh, one of our three exam rooms. Uh, like any standard procedure or exam room, they'll have a, a chairs to sit in and then an exam table, and we have all the uh, standard equipment in those rooms. The physician will come in, uh, introduce him or herself, uh, and visit with the, the patient, uh, go through their records and their chart, and then find out um, what exactly they're there for that day, and provide them the appropriate exams, and, and, uh, and then make a recommendation for further follow-up and treatment. Included in that might be prescribing medications for them. We have a relationship with the local pharmacy. Uh, if some of them can't afford to pay for those prescriptions, we have vouchers to help. We use a four and $10 prescription list, which enables uh, most of the medicines we prescribe to be uh, very affordable to our patients. Some of them need imaging studies and uh, Highline Medical Center has generously offered free imaging, uh, x-rays and ultrasounds uh, for our patients as well as uh, laboratory work. So we can also uh, get them in for a, a number of blood tests that might be uh, important in their health or in their evaluation. Patients will then sit down uh, with our discharge team, which is typically uh, Ted, who works like a social worker, and one of our nursing staff. And they'll run through with the patient what the doctor's recommendations were, what medications they might need, how to get their medications, um, and then also how to access lab and imaging if necessary. Some of our patients are gonna require more advanced care, and we work with a program called Project Access Northwest that allows us to um, have patients seen by specialty physicians, whether it's surgeons or cardiologists or dermatologists. Um, today it was an endocrinologist that one of my patients were, was going to need to see. So they help with the paperwork and make sure the patient then can get uh, into uh, advanced care with specialists who are volunteering their time in their clinic to see patients that come out of our, our clinic and other safety net clinics through Project Access. We then make appointments for the patients to come back uh, when appropriate. Uh, some of our patients are regular visitors, uh, depending on the uh, type of disease we're managing with them. Others we might only see um, maybe once a year, if that's uh, all that's required. So that's kind of how the care is delivered, and um, we've developed uh, some wonderful relationships with many of our patients um, who have been seeing us now for uh, three or four years. It's not about just putting a pill in somebody or pushing somebody out the door. Uh, here when I had problems, uh, they sat down with me and my wife. We held hands and they prayed for me. And the next time I came in, there was dramatic changes in, in, in my health. And uh, without the spiritual aspect, without that, the health care would not be the same. As you well know, the cost of health care grows every day. Currently, our cost per patient visit is $50, which is quite a bit cheaper than what you pay to visit your primary care physician. With your help, we can expand our services and move to a more visible location. Right now, we're only open on Saturdays, but we would like to add a midweek evening session by the end of the year. If you would like to help us financially, go online to www.newhopehc.org or you can send checks to New Hope Health Center, 100 Andover Park West, PMB 212, Suite 150, Tukwila, Washington 98188. Your gift is tax deductible. If you would like to learn more about New Hope and how you can volunteer, give us a call or go to the website. Thank you for taking the time to view this video.